Hi, uh, my name is Simonas, uh, Limo Yankee 2 Echo November, and this is a uh, video number two on my home Kio 100 uh, satellite ham radio station setup. Uh, so, uh, if you remember from the, from the first video, this is the receiving dish, and this receiving dish uh, has uh, the gets and head the tv head which works on 10 uh, gigahertz and is down converting to 700 megahertz but uh, next to it it's a pretty uh, simple attachment this is a pcb 2.4 gigahertz uh, wi-fi antenna which comes in a package if you order a um, sg labs up converter from 70 to 2.4 gigahertz and this is very simply attached and it actually works so i've just uh, uh, chatted on some with some folks on on Facebook and they said that they're really successful in making QSOs with this antenna so it just points to the same direction it has a separate transmission cable here and uh, I moved my antenna inside so that I could uh, adjust it a little bit and um, now let's see how it uh, how it works from the other end and um, this is my uh, transmitting and receiving setup and uh, if you remember from the from the first video there was a hacker f with bias t which uh, controls the receiving end um, and uh, the receiving end is obviously here on the waterfall um, so but now a couple of new things here so one is the uh, yesu ft817 which is uh, acting as a radio signal source and it actually works on 70 centimeters and it's now tuned 432.02 uh, uh, megahertz uh, CW. And this small device here, small neat thingy, is the SG Labs up converted from 70 to 2.4, from, from 400 megahertz to 2.4 uh, gigahertz. And it's, it works pretty simple. It has a, a RF uh, sensing switch, it has a cable in, cable out. And that is like a, a, a cable for receiving 2.4 gigahertz, but we receive on 10 gigahertz, so we don't need that. And this is a very nice palm paddle uh, for transmitting the CW. So it just works uh, simply as it would work on any other band. And um, here we can see and hear some CW chatter in the background. So I don't want to interrupt this CW conversation here, but if you look closer, uh, you could technically see my signal next to this one on the waterfall. Here it is, um, the small dots here. So, and I'm I'm able to pretty much work uh, and make a QSO with uh, two watts of power. Uh, basically, this emits five watts of power, and uh, the transceiver uh, emits two watts of power to, on 2.4 gigahertz, and it's pretty much it so I can work uh, I can make a QSO uh, listening on the SDR and uh, transmitting with a paddle like I would do on any other band uh, like HF or EHF so this uh, this is pretty much the setup it's a mixture of SDR plus uh, classic radio so in my next video I will show you how to set up a fully remotely working station for Q100 using a Pluto SDR uh, transceiver. So stay tuned and 73.